Jody Real says, I've been dealing, I've been single for almost 10 years. Am I single because I don't shoot my shot at women? I don't know what it feels like to want to pursue someone. Great question. Well, the thing about the thing about God is, is that you don't really have to do much work. You don't have to sweat. You don't have to sweat to get. You don't have to. I didn't have to go pursue my wife. My wife came to me. My wife came to my Bible study. And what I oftentimes give the analogy is when a hunter goes and hunt. A hunter doesn't just go out there and just start chasing deer. Um, the hunter finds him a place where he knows the deer visits and he plants himself in purpose. He plants himself in his place of, of, of thriving. And then when he plants himself in that place, he is then now patient and waiting for uh, the deer that panthers, right? And then what he does is he just waits until the deer comes and then he shoots his shot. See, when God brings her, the shot is easier. What you want to do? Most of us, we shoot half court shots. We wonder why we missing. When God's trying to get you close to the basket for a layup, we're making the game difficult than what it needs to be. We're making the process difficult than what it needs to be. And so my advice to you is uh, what you're doing to map, to better yourself in those years. And you got to ask yourself, do you match what you want to latch? Do you match what you want? And so what you do is you begin to see the benefits of singleness when you begin to see that you don't quite match what you're looking for. And that because because if you're don't don't be concerned about when to shoot your shot, how to shoot your shot. Don't worry about that. Focus on uh, training in the gym with the Holy Spirit. Focus on shooting your shots in the gym. Practice makes perfect. So you got to When you may got to continue to shoot your shot. We're not talking about shoot your shot to get, but shoot your shot now for the team to win. Now you got a teammate now, right? So now you got to keep learning how to shoot, how to shoot the right words, how to shoot the right expression of love, how to shoot the right whatever. So if you're not in the gym with the Holy Spirit getting your shot right, when it's time to shoot your shot, you're not going to make the shot. That's why Kobe said it doesn't matter uh, uh, what the pressure is of the end time of a game. Or Jordan said the same thing is that as long as I get to my spot and shoot my shot, I have an 80% chance of hitting that shot because I've shot a thousand of those daily in the gym. So before you go out there and look for them, shoot your shots in the gym. Before you shoot your shot at them, shoot your shots in the gym. And the Holy Spirit will then bring the person at the right time. And then when you shoot that shot, it's a bucket, fam. I have been single for almost 10 years. Am I single because I don't shoot my shot? You don't got to worry about no woman right now, fam. Utilize your singleness to create. Utilize your uh, singleness to uh, 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 develop yourself and mature yourself and match what you want to latch on to. I don't know what it feels like to want to pursue someone. Don't worry about it. But when it's time, you will know. When it's time to pursue a woman, you will know. And then I got plenty of videos on how to pursue a woman. But, but, but before you shoot your shot, man, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to make sure you're in the gym with the Holy Spirit, fam. Get your shots up so when it's time to shoot that shot, you won't be afraid to shoot it. And because when it's the right one, you got a better chance of hitting that bucket. Because what I don't want is you shooting a bunch of half court shots, a bunch of fadeaway shots, a bunch of awkward shots, a bunch of whatever shots. When God's saying, man, I'm just trying to get you in the lane to get an easy layup, but you out here want to shoot half court shots. Hope to help. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to engage more content, make sure you check out the videos over here. If you want to learn more about the books that I've written or the cards that I've created or ways that you can support and engage with what I do online, make sure you check out the links in the description box below. And if you've been watching this far, you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell, and make sure you leave a comment. I would love to read it and would love to engage and be your coach online. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.